Then there is a broad swath of people who know that they may not even have heard the 2012 or Planet X or whatever rumors or and the like. They have not even encountered these explanations, but they sense that something is wrong. They sense that their government is lying to them. They see, uh, you know, that the weather is too extreme. They may have noticed that the moon and the sun are not quite where they should be because they are not. The sun is is uh, seen in uh, off center, you know, because of the Earth's wobble. Depending on where you are on the Earth, and the moon has an er- erratic orbit where it goes too far north and then too far south during the month. And so people say, my grandmother says it's never shown in that room and in through that window, and she's lived here all her life. That type of you know, awareness, so they feel uneasy, they feel, they sense they're being, but because they don't ascribe this to any cause, they hear global warming and things like that muttered, you know, they, but and yet the house rattles and shakes sometimes, and and there's a claim that there was no earthquake, you know, so what's going on? So that's not global warming. They just become distracted. They make mistakes. There's more auto accidents. You go through McDonald's and you order a cheeseburger and you get a fish sandwich and you drive off and don't even challenge it because there's people become discombobulated. So they, uh, so that's in place also. Then you have that faction of humanity who uh, senses something is wrong and goes about researching this on the web uh, or using their logic and they say uh, they finally arrive maybe they discover zeta talk or some other website that is discussing nibiru or the or the you know the the prophecies and they say aha and they and they seek more and more information these people are genuinely alarmed they sense that they're going to have to save themselves because no one's going to do it since the government is lying to them you know, claiming that nothing is going on. And they're very anxious to be able to do what they can in the short time that might remain to them, you know, and I hear from those people a lot. And I have tried to lay out my website, you know, to say, here's where you go, here's what you do. Step one, check your location to see how safe it is and what others might be safer. You know, step two, you know, go into, you know, some basic help, you know, like remember you can eat bugs and, that you know this this kind of uh, five minute lecture you know that gets them going you know because I get those frantic emails all the time indeed I do. Now it seems as though there are some people that are easily persuaded by what the the government tells them and a perfect example of that is what's going on right now with with the uh, health care bill. We have uh, all of these uh, right wing lunatics that are that are coming out of the out of the woodwork and. Uh, disrupting uh, town hall meetings and referring to the administration as as, as a as a pawn of the, of the Hitler regime, and it, it, we're hearing so many so many crazy things that I wonder just exactly what are people thinking these days? Yeah, yeah. Actually, there there if you have a sense of unease and a sense of quiet panic that that is misdirected or undirected, you are going to have some of that. And the Thetas were asked about that recently, and they said the health, in the health care debate, this is not an uneasy public, you know, not knowing where to turn their their sense of dis- unease. It's uh, they, These are so deliberate. You know, in, in Seattle, uh, there was an article pointed out that in Seattle, some of these health care disruptors were the same people that prevented recounts in, in the 2000 election between Bush uh, and and Gore, you know, that stood up and and uh, frightened people away from coming to the re, you know recount facilities. Same people. Well, they've been picked up and transplanted. So this is deliberately orchestrated by the GOP, who does not want Obama to have a success, and and that's the bottom line there. So it's it's um, but but there is definitely a sense that more people are going postal. More people committing su- wealthy and poor alike. You know, they lose their job or, or you know, have a setback, and and they just take an Uzi and take out their whole family or whatever. There's uh, there is a lot more of that. Yes. What do you, what do you, what do you think about this uh, uh, death camp um, scenario that uh, is being passed around uh, these days? Uh, that the, the elderly are going to be uh, eliminated because. They've become too much of a burden to society, and it's going to cost too much to take care of them. 
You know, uh, uh, if you actually, it's, it's, a, it's a ludicrous article on its, uh, uh, argument on its face. Today, we have 43 uh, million people who are not cared for. How many of those who have no health insurance? How many of those are elderly and uh, and are just dying from a lack of any care whatsoever? You know, and, and it's not even that, but how many young people do not get their appendix taken out, infants in cars, in parking lots, you know, of hospitals that are turning them down? This happens. So, you know, if statistically, if you start lining up, you know, what, what the numbers would be, who gets care today and who would get care in the future, the argument vaporizes. Uh, so it, it's an attempt to panic people that everyone is going to be forced. Of course, those people who today have money are going to be able to buy themselves better health care in the future, regardless of it, as if it's public or private or whatever. So there's no change there. In places like France and England where they have socialized medicine, Sweden, Canada, they um, <coughs> people with money can get themselves uh, extraordinary care if they want to. They're not being denied that route, and they won't be denied in the future. It's, again, an attempt by the Republicans to to deny Obama a success uh, because he promised this to people, and if he pulls it off and they see how well it works, uh, his his uh, poll ratings will just skyrocket again, and they don't want that. The Mayan prophecy... Um depicts a time of uh, transition uh, culminating at the uh, winter solstice on December 21st of 2012, which is coming up very shortly. According to um, this prophecy, the, the, the sun and planets of the solar system will align with the uh, Milky Way galaxy. Now, there has been much written about this highly anticipated date and what events will transpire at that time. Um, events that range from a spiritual awakening uh, all the way to a tumultuous solar and earth-shattering catastrophe. Um, a 2012 movie that was just scheduled for release this fall indicates that we will all soon be in for a hell of a ride. Now, how accurate is the Mayan calendar, and will this be a time when celestial events will occur as the prophecy seems to imply? Yeah, it's a very interesting subject, and the Zetas have spoken to it a lot. <clears throat> First off, um, there is really uh, no certainty about December 21st, 2012, as being the end of the Mayan calendar. Um, if, if you do an analysis, which I have done, uh, the long period calendar uh, of the Mayans, it has no hooks in it. When they tried to, it, it's like a... a, a a ruler that you can slide back and forth on the table, and a second ruler is a Gregorian calendar that's ours, you know. And there's no way to to hook these two rulers that can slide up and down next to each other and know that you've done it right. Uh, our calendar, you know, has hooks. Is a, a Christmas holiday? Well, that has to be winter, not midsummer, for instance, you know, or. It has our calendar will put uh, when the moon is going to be full or when there might be an eclipse in it. Well, their long calendar has none of that. Uh, they have an astronomical calendar, which is separate. They have a ceremonial calendar, which wraps every 260 days, which is separate. And any attempt to go back and, you know, with carbon dating or any other, you know, let's say the the practice of the Mayans today and their ceremonies, um, it's got so many holes in it. Carbon dating was uh, of, of some temple beam was supposed to be three to five years variance. Well, how how can they say December 21st, 2012 then? And the and the ceremonial practices uh, of the today's um, you know ancestors. Well, assuming that they didn't get discombobulated and lose track at some and and you know that can happen, uh, would be a, have a 30 a year variance. You know, according so there is no certainty whatsoever. So the Zetas have said December 21st, 2012 is wrong. They won't tell us what the right date is because, as with all valid channels, you know, spiritual, alien, whatever, you know, from Mother Teresa or I mean Mother Mother Mary or wherever, they are not allowed to tell mankind the exact date of when the pole shift will occur, when the last weeks will ensue, and this is because. Um, the earth is our schoolhouse. We are supposed to learn to deal with these things by helping others and not saying, oh, we need to be rescued, but rather 
how can I how can I collect and care for the orphans that will ensue? How can I, you know, uh, help people, you know, deal with what's coming and remember that love is what the real important thing, the outcome of this, you know, growth in love and caring for each other. So it's our schoolhouse, and just like you can't cheat on exams, we can't cheat by knowing when it's going to hit. So they're not allowed to tell us. 